Stacey Walker in front, getting ready. The New York locals taking on the Texas team. Some brilliant players in this one, and one of your teammates, Walker, on the right. Yeah, absolutely. I'm super proud. I've actually got four New Zealand teammates in these two teams. Two in the on your red side, the locals, and two in the orange, in Tasha Kanasi and Elena Saili. And of course, in the locals, you've got Stacey Walker, who's leading her team out, and Manaya Nuku. So you can see Lena there, just still doing TikToks as they're about to run out. The locals take the field. They've been training really hard. I've actually been training next to them on the fields. They got some good chemistry in their team. Juicy presentation last night was really, really special. So see they're taking their huddle very tight in the team and they'll be running out first. New York locals led there, as you said, by Stacey Waka. First time ever. They are taking part in the PR7s to Fayei and T. Fletcher, the coach, the Texas side. Well, they are going to erupt as they take here the home side, waiting for fireworks as they return to action. Megan Sanders leads them out. The Texas side played in Memphis. We didn't see them last year, but they are back. This is awesome. This is huge. This is exactly what growth of a sport looks like. Congratulations, Texas. And this is your starting lineup. As you see there, number nine, Elena Saeli. Super footwork comes out of the Blackburn Sevens. Tysich Canasio, number four, also from the New Zealand roster. But you've also got a whole lot of locals. And keep an eye out for number 11, Sanders, as well. Heaps of energy, and she's been leading this team well. And who's that, Ellen? International smiling assassin, as she's <laughs> known, scorching the earth. Stacey Waka leads the charge here on a brilliant side. We mentioned the internationals. We've got Nini Weathers, can certainly motor. Manaya Nuka, you mentioned already. Jenna Owens, brilliant as well. Our second women's match semi finals. We saw the headliners win 21 19 against the Steel Toes. It is match two of eight. The Texas team kicking off as their blazing stunt goes down. It's the New York locals with straight away into the action. Nini Weathers, Weathers, straight through. It is one of the best starts in PR7s you will see. Shut the gates. The New York locals are in. Wow. Straight through. Slices the middle. Huge play first up from Weathers. As we look here, she's the one in the pod. She calls it with the confidence. Let me have this ball. Shoves off the defenders. Goes straight through. It's some kind of inspiration too. She's brought her little baby boy to every single training. She's at the hotel with us as well. Super inspiring. He's going to see his mum doing superhuman things like that. 7 0. Not even one minute in. Amazing to see Nini Weathers. You said it, a baby boy last year. USA 7s and 15s international out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. It is 7 0. The restart from Nuku goes high, and Waka has this one. First touch for Stacey Waka. Lovely offload. Malay Kagawa is there, the Japanese international. The ball comes down to the Texas side. They have now numbers on the short side. As they look to step, create a bit of space. Nothing coming from that side. Megan Sanders comes in. MVP of the Club Sevens Nationals a few years ago. Big collision in midfield. This game is rough and tough, but the pinch is there. And the New York locals looking to step through. A oh, great bit of cutting at angles. Manaya Nuku, welcome to the United States. It's the Kiwi sensation that scores try number two. Don't worry, people at home, they're not fighting. They're very close teammates, those two. So Manai Nuku, she's come into the Black Friends Sermons environment with all her skills. She can kick, she can pass, and you see right here, she can also score some tries. The locals spinning the ball wide, and Nuku just looks up and can't believe her luck. There's a massive hole down the middle. She absolutely exploits it. But wow, the position turnover rate in that last play was super fast. Really difficult to keep up with. Texas actually still have a woman down in back plate. Yeah, they do. So we're just getting some attention. Our medical staff is right in the field as soon as that happened. There was that big collision we saw in midfield. Looking to get up there is Telesa Watafe. She will go to the side and get attention. All-American and all-star as well, originally from Tonga. And that was because there were some huge physical hits. Ikanasia, Ikanasio there, Taisha from New Zealand, put one in. And then Wutafe putting her body on the line as well. Short restart, up 14 nothing. Oh, but it's a good take here for the Texas side. The crowd coming alive. What a breakout. That is what you want. Taisha Ikanasio goes the distance. 
Oh, from Auckland, New Zealand to Austin, Texas. Woohoo! The Uso runs right through the middle. She claps right back, as we see here. There's just no touching her. She's a really kind person, I promise, but that look on her face is fierce. And that means Taisha Kanasio is about to score a try. Very physical woman, very strong. And I'm telling you, she's run past me a few times. She's very, very fast as well. It doesn't happen a lot. The partner, she says, very supportive. They went through the police training together. But Taisha had to pull out, continue with the sevens. And he's now a policeman watching back in Auckland. Also played professionally in Japan. 14-7. The Texas team, the home side, is on the board finally. Weathers had scored one already off the restart earlier in the game for the New York locals in this all-important semi-final game. There are no easy games. Every match matters in the PR7s. Bit of width to operate as Waka gets it on the wing. Great couple of steps from the smiling assassin. Beach three. Stacey Waka, another fourth step. Offloads. All the players are keen in. So numbers. Hamden gets it away. Good strong hit, though. Comes in on the New York locals on that far side on Amy Talebonte. Penalty the other way. Yeah, Sanders there was all over it. Really good heads up play. She had all rights to the ball, and you don't often see it in sevens, but they're going for the line out. You can choose to quick tap if you want to speed up the game, but they're going to slow it down here. We have a look here. This is what I'm talking about the heads up play. The locals take it in. Really nice tackle there as well by Saeli, I think it is. One out, one out. And Megan Sanders just one right out. over the top, and the locals couldn't get there quick enough. That is extreme intelligence of the game. Here comes Sanders, grew up in a small island, close to Canada. Orca State, that's a bit messy, so the New York locals have possession inside their 22, with two to go in the first half, busting free, there's no sweeper back. Here they go yet again. Anaya Nuku, one try already. This the second. Now and the locals doing what they need to do in the opening seven. Oh, Manaya Nuku just cruising her way in there. She didn't even get out of second gear. This was a line-out unfortunate for the Texas locals. Sorry, for the home team Texas, but for the locals, it was Manaya Nuku once again looks up, accelerates into the gap, and cruises all the way home. You mentioned playing the Black Ferns. David Dubai featured in a few tournaments. Initially joined the squad after high school. Brilliant to see Nuku carving up here, raising the profile of the game. Yeah, and I think one of her superpowers is she can remain cool and calm. Everything, her expressions, the way she is throughout an entire match. And some people bring the energy, you know, like myself, and some people need to be calm for the rest of the players, and that's Nuku. You need both, that's for sure. 21-7 the score. New York locals lead the Texas team here in Austin. Semi-final number two, the winner will face the headliners in the final. Sanders goes on the short side, difficult ball to handle. New York locals want to pinch it here. They'll take take it out of scrum time. There's a player down as well. It looks like it could be Darren Lovelace, I think it is. We'll get a number of that a second. Our medical team is on the field there with Lovelace They're on the Texas side. Leadership for her side is Lovelace. Yeah, just taking a moment there. But what a true strength she's shown by standing back up and getting straight back to that scrum. And it was Stacey Waka who put on all kinds of defense right in the face of the home team. Unable to keep that position. But now the, locals, the New York locals have this awesome opportunity to attack from their right side scrum. Nuka to feed. Flick pass across to Cheddar Owens. Waka looking to dance in midfield. Owens on the loop around. Weathers has got the speed but being chased down, and a good tackle in the end. Erika Legaspi does well, as Nini Weathers flicks it on. But there are too many numbers, it seems, and the New York locals will dance in. It's Jenna Owens who will get it done. And that extends the lead in the first half. Oh, that was nicely done. If we look here. The first player tries to get around Weathers. Already scored a try in this play, but this try came down to support play. Weathers looked up. And Jetta Owens was right on her shoulder. Super fantastic support play. That's what Sevens is all about. Teamwork. As the conversion goes astray, it's another try for the New York locals. 
looking very, very strong to make the finals. We play it later today. Eight games in all. We've got the men's sides and the women's sides. Four franchises represented. The bench players looking on, and T. Fletcher and Tiffany coaches the New York side, and Lauren Trout and John Kumlili in charge of the Texas team. Really cool to see ex players, ex USA players here coaching, growing the game as well. Shout out to Kelly Griff, my coach, as we get on really quickly for this game. Yeah, such an important part of the game. In midfield, Kimber Rosia, one of the US top players over the years. Back from an injury, he's still doing some damage as they go upfield again. Nicolasio with a good bit of play in midfield. Lovelace. Down here to Janine Katevo is there. Still seven minutes to go after this little short break coming up, so anything can happen in the second half. 26 points to seven. It's the New York Locals in the women's side of the competition that lead the Texas team in a brilliant first half. But what will happen in the second? Stay with us here at Q2 Stadium in Austin, Texas. Coming back soon. Welcome back, it's the home side in action. They trail 26 points to seven, the Texas team against the New York locals. They're about to kick off the second half of match number two in the women's competition. It's semi-final time, knockout rugby in the PR7's competition for the year 2023. This format will keep you on the edge of your seat. As Cheddar Owens goes to the Texas side in their familiar outfit, Darren Lovelace with a burnt orange. And now a bit of space for them to operate. They're gonna cut the deficit. Ball on the ground, able to pick up, and still looking for some dancing feet. Great bit of stuff. Sayili drifts across field. And Gano for the line. The combination has worked before, and it works again. The Texas team back on the board. Wow, super play. It was a break way on the left. And then it was the quick reaction, reaction from Elena Sayili. Another Samoan sister, she steps about 13 locals and then she sets her teammate up. And in the end, it was just too much to handle. And Hingano goes over. That's exactly what you want to see. Exactly the way you want to start the half with such a big score deficit. She Sanders here, Hingano, all crucial in their leadership roles on this field. Yeah, let's get pitch shot. Wendy Young, what are your comments there from the first half? I think it's perfect timing as team makes that try. The connection is what Lauren Trout wants to focus on. And then on defense, those small fixes at the breakdown. For the other side, the locals keep doing them. Yeah, great point indeed. There is a mistake from Makaya Bayless, which does present an opportunity to the Texas team. It's all about momentum this game of sevens. Yeah, absolutely. It's gut-busting stuff. I can tell you guys at home right now, these women will be tired. They will be fatiguing the legs and in the mind so a scrum on their right hand side which in majority of the cases we play as we know is the easier way to pass but you've got to do the first things first which is scrum properly we've already seen in the last game somebody get free kick so a nice opportunity for texas u.s falcons and eagles player megan sanders under pressure able to get it away the canasio does really well into the 22 good little step off the left Numbers there in support is Morgan Freeman. One of the best names in rugby. Goes across field. The Tevo. A lovely break earlier did Janine from Tennessee. Numbers on the left-hand side, but they choose right. Sanders now whoops it. Fiery ball. Looking for Legaspi. And that is gas indeed. Erica Legaspi gets the score. And it's two in a row from the Texas side. They're well back in this game. Legaspi, you're right, putting on that gas. We've seen her doing this in the training pitch all week. And I was wondering if she was going to hit that third gear. Texas, unsure what to do exactly. Then Sanders sees where the opportunity is, and it's in the, the absolute pace of that woman right there. Legaspi with the big let's go. Conversion away to the right. This is exactly what Texas want to be doing. As you said, Dallin, shifting that momentum, putting it back into their team. Four minutes to go in the second game. The next play. Very One fan in the crowd, PFT commentator from Boston Sports, he's here supporting the Texas side, urging on this team. New York locals, though, will take possession. 
Nuku across field, a lovely switch, opens up a lot of space here as they cut back in. Talia Brody was there in support. Big strong tackle on Amy Bonte. Down the short side, here on the New York locals, potentially isolated. Ruck support though does arrive. It's Bonte again shifts it across field, and Brody is there. Oh, on the space, unlocked. Amy Talay Bonte being chased by Legaspi. What a tackle! Legaspi to her feet, getting possession, almost a penalty. But it stays the way. The arm towards the New York local side, just a knock on is the call. Potential penalty on the line. What do you thought? Oh my goodness. It was Ikanasio, who I thought wasn't quite going to get there. As you see, number four, Ikanasio coming over, but it was Legaspi, 16, who in the end brings her down straight back to her feet, which is legal. And she almost had the turnover clean, but unfortunately it just slips out of her hands. And when, Wendy Young, as an experienced referee, what are your thoughts on that call? Yeah, it's a tough one. I think she's there. She's over the ball. She's going for the scoop. She has every right to it. She knocks it on because the player doesn't let it go. You heard it there from Wendy Young. Yeah, great insight. Pitch side, you've got good angles there as well. Well, in the end result, two and a half to go in this game. And 26-17, the New York locals with possession. Vital possession for them. Free kick goes the other way. The Texas team take it back. Interesting call. PR Stevens is the only comp I've seen a non hook call. In New Zealand, we, we overhook. We love to hook too much. So <laughs> Texas will get the ball back with two minutes to go. And they 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 go with a line out play. I can see the reason why instead of a quick tap, you know the try line's right there. You feel it and it's really difficult to get out of there. And last time they did a two woman line out. This time back to three. You're allowed any number. The attacking team, the defending team must mirror that or less. So because it's a free kick and kick directly into touch, it'll be the New York locals ball. So Manaya Nuku goes to the front. That one has been spilt. So a scrum possession for the Texas team. Top. Clock still ticks down. Yeah, you're right, Dallin. They went for territory. <whistles> locals had the opportunity to get the ball, but they're gonna in a turn of events, they're gonna get it back as the time stops there as there's a local on the ground. Can't quite see a number. Hope that player's okay as we see a couple of substitutions coming in. We've got the home team. Omin Wilson entering the freight. Sanders is off. There might be number five. I think Arnold. So we just wait a moment. Players, oh sorry. Apologies. It's number eight. Just have another look here because we're not quite sure what's happened. Saeli gets her, she doesn't have the ball. Might it be a nice rib to Clippy Dallin, put a win. Yeah, Bonte. That's the attention. Back on her feet. Staff is there with her. A big loss as she goes to the side. So you mentioned the replacements. Uh, it's Malay Kagawa on the field wearing six. Under two to play, 26-17, the semi-final. The winner will join the headliners in the final. Stadium. So much on the line for these sides. Fresh out of the gates. This Texas team has scored the last two times in this second half. Gaspi is their speed merchant on the outside. Ruck ball in midfield, looking to open up a bit of space. Down the short, looking to step back in. Just knocked on though, Morgan Freeman coming in, supporting line. You see there's some good footwork from Saeli, trying to link up with her teammate. But with just over a minute to go, the New York locals do not want Texas team to get back into this game. Banter there from Talia Brody. Yeah, referee as well, JP Gonzalez, San Diego State University product, currently doing his MBA at USC, rising in the ranks and officiating sides. Nuku comes across for the New York locals. They've got Stacey Waka, the international smiling assassin, gets the backdoor flick. It is beautiful to watch. Nini Weathers scores, and it's all New York. Oh, valiant effort from Texas. 
but the locals just flip it on its head in this last minute of the game. Waka, Flock of Flame, knows exactly what she's doing. When you see her carry it to the line, if you run off her shoulder, you will score every time. I can tell you from experience, and we're seeing some chemistry here because it's Weatherston, the famous mum on the circuit, who has the last say. And I've got to say, that was very impressive, the New York locals to close out that game like that. Yeah, it was. Just a space out wide. Nini Weathers stretching the distance, the Wintergreen ambassador, Linwood University product. Has him up 31 points to 17. Final kick in this game still to come. But it is too much of a deficit for the Texas side. And there is Waka who set up the try, getting a hug with the try scorer, Nini Weathers. And we're just waiting for the ref there, and I think he's called full time. So the locals pretty happy with that performance. Yeah, they will be. We have our second side to go into the final. It is New York, the locals that will play the headliners later. A dominating performance despite some great scores from the Texas side. Final score in this one, 31 points to 17. The New York locals win the semi-final here. And it was a game of two halves to show the camera to a good lead. But in the end, just too strong, especially Nini Weathers. Too yeah, it was. And look, sevens is a game, it can flip on its head like that. So well done to Texas, but congratulations locals. We're taking a short break, coming up more action after the men's tournament starts up next. It's 31-17, the locals beat the team.